In the shadow of a valley, I would like to settle down. Wide open space, wind on my face, a distant horizon, the moon on the crest. In the shadow of the valley, that I love best. Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play. JG keeps wondering when he's going to finish <laughs> Final Out New Vegas and wonders, without being completely silly about it, whether he has separation anxiety from finishing the last uh, DLC of Fallout New Vegas. But for now, we're working on Red Dead Redemption 2, which has been a real interesting game for me. Um in that I find so many things to complain about in this game because my expectations are so high. And honestly, how can you complain about spending 60 bucks for a game that gives you this much to do? And the answer is there are plenty of things to complain about because you can sit here and complain about how uh, many of the things that you're given to do are really not that hard. It's a very lengthy sequence of not very challenging challenges to be done. It's the kind of game where if you went into multiplayer mode and suddenly like you couldn't rely on things like Red Eye or Dead Eye and you didn't get to continue every time you lost, you'd suddenly be like, oh wow, wait, what? I'm not used to this game requiring anything of me. Anyway. Um, I know for a fact that there are more... Um, Where is this? This is Beaver Hollow. That is our current camp. Uh, no, it's not our current camp. It's down here somewhere, is it? No, maybe that is it. Yeah, that's it. So uh, I I became aware, kind of unintentionally, the um, that veteran. Yeah, veteran's homestead. There's still more side quests we can do with him, but they're not going to trigger unless we come across him during daytime. So in my uh, efforts to try to make sure I don't miss any content. I uh, am kind of inclined to try to finish our veteran quest stuff. There's various little side quests. Like, I've had the ending of the veterans quest side quest kind of spoiled for me a bit. Um, by accident. Doesn't have huge, huge permutations on the overall game. This, by the way... I did look it up. It does not appear that it makes any real difference. Mm, pardon me. Whether we, um... Do, 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 do. Doesn't seem like it really made a difference that we spared that guy instead of killing him. If we'd killed him, we would get a small discount in shops because of the mayor's influence in our favor. And apparently, later in the game, if you're going through all the written documents and reading the journals, which I haven't been, um, um, there'll be some journals that we, oh, hey there, mister. Man, for some reason I thought those, I had this notion that those were a bunch of guys with torches, um, and not a, uh, carriage with electric lights. I think we got our one Ku Klux Klan event that we're gonna get for this game. That's what I don't like about this game. Not enough Ku Klux Klan representation. No, that is not a serious issue. I think. Um. Hey there, Mr. Hey, partner. Out of there. But, um. We're under legendary animal territory, but it's too much activity in the area to attract the animal. I'm not really doing the legendary an uh, hunts and stuff. There's. I haven't felt really compelled to do all that side stuff in this game. There's so much of it. What are you doing with her? Okay.
trying to make sure I didn't kill the girl. Uh, who doesn't seem to have survived the encounter. Yeah, the girl may have been killed here. Yeah, okay, so I didn't really, uh... Seems like I didn't manage to save the girl. But she had bird rock root, so that's... Well, you know, I wanted to help, but um, it seemed like I wasn't going to get a shot off on this guy fast enough. Pick up torch. Well, that was just a real sad scene. Not sure what they were going to go do with that lady. But, um, what I leave behind there, the, uh, is that the torch? Well, it looks like I left a machete behind, too. I was trying to go pick it up, but it... Can't pick up and burn the stranger? Yeah, they're making a point of having this machete glow, but it won't let me pick it up. Yeah, whatever. There's lots of things out here that I could be picking. You know, various noses. <laughs> oh, these are going to be like gator eggs or some of that stuff that they introduced us to in side quests. And I was like, thanks, but no thanks. I can't carry any more common bull rush. My horse seems displeased, probably because there's gators and stuff around here that I'm just... Yeah, there's like gators like all over the freaking place here. There's quite a few of them. I don't know that I need to be here. Alright, so the weird swamp people were attacking a lady. I made a good faith effort to help. It just resulted in deaths. Including the death of the lady I was trying to save. Yeah. But hey, I tried. <laughs> what would have happened had I, uh, I... I don't know if it was possible to have been faster and helped her. Or um, she was always kind of uh, screwed. But... Doesn't look like Veterans Homestead has a uh, mission for me to do right now. Although, again, if I get closer during the right time of day, who knows for sure. One thing I did find out, too, though, is that... Um, magic, music, magic, acrobats, feats of strength. There's, uh, there's some unfinished business I can do. Where uh, I actually go watch those circus uh, folks I helped out before have their show. And it's not a mission, it's just a thing you can do, so, um... Fine morning, hey, good morning. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to block your path there. Sorry, I kind of hostily blocked your path like that. A game seemed to interpret it that way. Be good
tried to get something just to restore my core a bit. Uh, the dead eye core is pretty much exhausted. A wedge of cheese would be good for that. And um, bit of salted beef. Howdy. Since I don't anticipate using any red eye anytime real soon, having a nice full red eye core will let the red eye come back on its own. You got any political guys in there I can threaten? Even though I guess I betrayed the mayor that I was working for by not killing that one guy he asked me to kill. Bear in mind, it could all fall apart at any time if I accidentally hit someone with my horse. Hey there, mister. Hold up. Hey, partner. Hey, it's the friendliest game in the old hey, west. Mister. I'm the friendliest guy who's got a terminal case of tuberculosis in the old west. I suppose, in theory, we could uh, think that there's a real character statement going on here. We should admire the fact that Arthur is looking on the bright side of uh, the last uh, months of his life. Uh, certainly, there's something to be said for the fact that he appears to be trying to straighten out things for, you know, the gang and his fa his, his family before he goes. But um, just the fact that he spends the whole game going around going, Hey there, mister! <laughs> if uh, you so choose takes away from the idea that this has been brought on in some way by his uh, you know, recent health news. Hey, ticket taker. I'd like to... Oh, he, I can actually ask for Miss Mar Marjorie. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so... Why don't you take a seat, then come back in and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that means I got a free ticket. Well, that whole quest with chasing that midget fellow, or little person, dwarf, uh, I guess it was all worth it, uh, you know, because I get to see a free show. Sadly, without my uh, lady friend. Oh, wow, I'm sitting next to Mark Twain. Hey, is it true that you know Guinan? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Greetings. Thank you for your basins. Truly. Your basins? I am Aldridge T. Addington. I came to see you. Show in Saint Denis, or for that matter, the whole world. I have the foresight and fortitude to bring you acts. I love the way this guy is introducing a generic act. The most amusing actors, captivating performers, and feats of amazement for Woo! your emotional, <laughs> spiritual, and psychological enhancement. My delight in acquisitiveness began at an early age. Inquisitiveness is the best. Woo! Circus. I'm reminded of my niece and uh, the underwear song that we uh, came up with together. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my little babies. Most most of the lyrics, story. at least that my niece Let came up with, is he really loves his underwear. Evening. It's about a monkey who really likes his underwear. I met these odd fellows in Let's a tavern in some godforsaken place. Shows the Wait a They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting. Miss Marjorie and her medical miracle. Y'all see this? It's that guy's butt. Well, hello, Sandy. <laughs> oh. Wow. Fun looking <laughs> now they told me you were all dandies <laughs> and dancing girls. Season, 
So why did she open by mock insulting us? And this whip is what waits my midget if he don't perform. Or dwarf, little person. <laughs> wow, are they? I love the way she insults him. That's why I got this whip here. He hit Big Jake. is a good show. in the audience you be I'm a master of apparition go on dissipation did they kill that guy on stage even the art of <laughs> transfiguration <laughs> you see that i have mastered hypnosis Telekinesis. Can I cheer Bertram? And escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This is You're doing, you nasty little pervert. What? Damn it. We were going to give them a show. All right. Not like that, you're not. I give up. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go follow your brother. <laughs> well, that's our show. We almost kill someone and then we act like we're going to show you some titties, but don't. Have a good night, everyone. Bring on more freaks! <laughs> well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants are curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! Oh, wow. From my time in France, I met these lovely girls who would dance. Whoa, hold on. I gotta sit for this. I didn't know there was gonna be any more acts. Oh, what a delight. I bring you the girls of Petit Flanor in Gay Paris. Petit Flanor means little Flanor. Look at those bloomers indeed. This was erotic entertainment in that time. You gotta admit, it's a bit classier than uh, 
that's not what we have to do. I mean, because he's going to be polite to the little French dancer girls who are probably about as French as I am, but. Hey, get that guy out of the stage. I don't want to see his bloomers. The sexy guy in the middle. I can't bring myself to press the antagonize, even if I'm curious as to what it would be. I love it when that guy in the, the suit coat waters around there. Suit coat. Right. I wonder if one of the girls will spin him. Oh, what well, they did. Yeah. Other people are standing to cheer. Okay, they're sitting back down. Night at the theater. Have you ever seen such a thing? <laughs> I'm all a quiver, I can tell you. <laughs> I bet you are, buddy. I bring you the most we incredible singer of serpents this side of the swamp. Oh, Donald now, Trump is here. She is, speaking in He's that gonna drain the swamp. Tongue, but bringing us a show unlike any other. The mysterious Maya. Oh, Maya the Bee? Is that poisonous? We already told us about the place in pants. The ladies wear no pants. Oh, he's just clapping now. Showing a sort of quiet and dignified respect to Maya. Why we refuse to holler? Oh, okay, and there she is. Yeah. How often did the trading post get this act to come out? I mean, the snake. I wonder if I could equip, um, no, I cannot equip binoculars right now. Don't catch my tuberculosis, baby. She's a weirdo snake girl, yeah. Should be sitting a little closer to have a better idea of what she's actually doing with that snake. Doing sort of an Anastasia Anastasia Kinski thing here. Yeah, 
Yes, nigger. That's um, unfortunately um, now that Zerfall and uh, Bobo have already done Final Fantasy. I probably never bothered to go back and do the NES one on my channel. But if I did, we can counter carry the Fiend of Fire. Hopefully, I'll remember to go. Yes, nigger. I believe that's going to be it. It's usually three acts and we're done. I thought maybe it would just be the magician family this time. That could be. I blame you, Eve, for your poor snake dancing. But anyway, no more acts tonight. I just thought I would mention German shit. It wasn't pulled by a beast of burden, but instead by a mighty woman as strong as an ox. Who was leaving uh, a great ascent of uh, manure. Wow. I love this big lady. I guess he just claps until he's really sold on the act. Bring on more freaks. I suppose he's a gimmick, some idea. I love women who can bend things. Oh, wow, looks like Molly is still alive and in the audience. Or zombie corpse isn't there. It's the dancer from the French girl sequence. This could be a surprise ending. Destroy that woman like she was a ref. Yeah, because if a guy was able to do all that, it wouldn't be suspicious at all. She has some great dialogue. Incredible! I hear that all the women of Bavaria undertake that very ritual on their wedding night. It has been. I don't know why I'm so hostile towards this guy's closing joke. Oh. You're right! I got tuberculosis, everybody! Wee <laughs> He knows of what he speaks! Well. Distraction is our greatest joy, and I hope this served as a little bit of a distraction for you. When we come back next time, uh, we'll probably meet with the circus folk and see if we have a nice little cinematic with them. No new mission, I am told. And then we'll get on with, um, whatever there is to be done while we kill time and, um, procrastinate about rescuing John Marston. See you guys next time.